Hello everybody and welcome back to the uh, our playthrough of Wizard 101 with Roboio and Novatos from Game Mode. Ah. And today, just at the beginning of the episode, we're going to be covering something, which is this man here, Egbert, who I just walked past to grab a mana pip. Wisp. Mana wisp. Gosh dang it, why <laughs> do I keep calling I'm gonna start pip? correcting you on that, whenever I can catch it. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, so this is Egbert, and he just... <coughs> he has a few different Easter-related things that you can buy for crowns. <coughs> Which I'm not going to be buying any, because I have no crowns. <laughs> oh, there are also um some stuff in the crown shop itself. A care by Nog Rabbit, and a prismatic hair. Really? Oh, and a bunny costume. There's a bunny costume. Yeah, the prismatic hair is badass. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I was seriously the considering guy. buying that. Like that is dope. How much does it cost? Four thousand five hundred crowns. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty expensive. Sh should I? I have enough. So basically, all these wands are like fifty shades of gray. It's the same pattern repeated. R repeated. Repeated. Repeated multiple times, except with higher damage, with a higher level. So, yeah. And then you can get the pet egg. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Which I adore. <sighs> I'm gonna regret that decision eventually. I adore the pet egg. Oh my god. Look at this beautiful... <laughs> Peace. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Uh, well, I'm on the subject. I may as well. Uh, okay, this gives me a good opportunity to cover something. Alright, do it. I I'm going to cover moving items from character to character. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just go in the... Uh, are you going to move over your mounts? I think I'm going to be really overly poetic, and I'm going to... I should probably move over a couple of things from my other character. <laughs> move the amount that this guy has. Yeah, let me... Dang Lucas it. is before life, everybody. I'm not actually in my uh, original character. I'm just checking to see if I have the right mount on this character. I have zero mounts on this character. Alright. Which disturbs me, because I think that means that I may have accidentally gotten rid of my blue dragon. Oh, right, on the, um, the other character. Yeah. That would really suck. <laughs> that would really suck. The good news is I now have way more than enough gold on my original character to buy it again, so... Oh, that's right, it's a... Okay. Oh, I'm sitting in the middle of Dragonspire, and I don't know why. I actually don't have enough gold with my original character to buy it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, so I believe I'm just going to move over my frontier dragon. I just realized that I have a seven day yellow candy cane mount and a permanent yellow candy cane mount. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, okay. This is, the this is the firehouse that we're going to officially cover in one of our housing episodes. I'm just gonna, we're just going to cover all the houses that we can, and we're going to hopefully find the ones that we don't have and can't access. Yeah. Which aren't that many, actually. Most of them we can access once mm -hmm. we get to a certain point. Why am I trying to go to the world? I'm getting all my mounts out so we can <laughs> showcase, I guess, some more holiday stuff. <laughs> oh, all my things died. So, if you want to share something with another one of your characters, you just click Move to Shared Bank. And then it goes into this thing called the Shared Bank. Which actually, I might end up using another thing that I have in my Shared Bank with this character. Which is from uh, St. Patrick's Day, actually. But, uh, anyway. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway. 
Hope I didn't give away too many spoilers about character advancement. <laughs> uh, let me move my other... So I'll need to start doing some uh, grinding off-screen with my original character so I can get enough money to buy a blue dragon. Because <laughs> technically if I do it with my original character, it's the same dragon, right? Alright. And then to retrieve it, you click go home to go to your dorm room here. Hello, dorm room. <coughs> Shared bank. Hi, Robolio. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> dorm owners anonymous. Uh, I don't know, this this bunny is just too beautiful to take off. I I'll I'll show I'll show my stuff later. No, yeah, I'll just keep the pot of gold one in the bank. Anyway. Yeah, keep the bunny on. <laughs> That's good. And so now I'm on a dragon. I also got my temporary bat wings. Ah, uh, yes. I had a lot of stuff, jeez. So I suppose we should actually continue with quest advancement now. So Probably. I'm going to go and talk to Merle Ambrose. Oh yeah, we, um... So the recording cut out yesterday, or it wasn't yesterday, but whenever we uh, last recorded. The last time we recorded, I ran out of disk space right af right before we beat the boss. We beat him, if you couldn't tell. We didn't, the tables didn't turn on us that badly. Yeah, we beat him. So basically what happened is we beat him, and we finished that quest, and we got told to go to, and talk to Merle Ambrose. So you didn't miss much. And I'm one bar off from leveling up. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Not many students can make that claim. Oh wait, am I level ten or am I level nine? Young wizard, the Harvest Lord uh, you're probably level nine. Nine. Uh, nine. So close. Find out what that Malastair's shield, though. City is ever to right, I'll go get myself set up at uh, Triton for the other quest chain. Many thanks to you for straightening everything out on Triton Avenue, young wizard. Oh, I had a mark set there. Wow. So much forethought. <laughs> He fears the worst is not over yet. Uh... Yeah. We should do pet sounds in the Diego quest sometime, eventually. Yeah. Not right now. Um, let's see, so we're doing field... Actually, I'm gonna talk to Eudora Tangletree, because I got the Mistwood for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then it... I already did that one, so... That might account for the, um part of the deficit in... Mm, possibly. <clears throat> I, I mean, I can't imagine it gives you that much. I remember when 250 experience was a lot. <laughs> I remember when 1,000 experience was a lot. I remember that well. And now it's like, oh, you finished a quest? 25,000 experience. That moves you maybe a quarter of a bar. Uh, only 25,000? Hey, I, I'm uh, early Avalon. Well, actually, I don't know how much... I don't know. Hey, basic crafting station. I can't get over how just colorful this bunny is. <laughs> In the way it jumps. It's just kind of like, oh, I'm a frolicking bunny in a bunny bunny world. That was terrible. Yeah, I think this thing is actually worth like 10 bucks, which is ridiculous, and I don't know why I spent that money, but... Yeah, exactly. Let's just assume it's part of the 15,000 free crowns that I got, because that's very viable. Yeah, let's just assume that. <laughs> so it's te technically free. Okay, so I just accepted the quest for the Daggers of Absolution, but we'll do that later. Alright, teleport so, up. So, you're Starting in a... I'm, yep, I'm in the Haunted Cave, all the way to the back. Good. Fighting field guards. Field so, guards? But there's no field. So, my crowns for the past... Let's go with, the, like, school year level year. Um, was 15,000 in September for the 
random giveaway thing that I explained an episode or two or three or four ago. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got two iTunes gift cards, which, because of Grub Guardian, I can just use an in-app purchase and get a slightly reduced amount for ten dollars worth of crowns. So that's another eight thousand crowns that I got added, and that's what I've been working off of. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the fodder. I haven't gotten any crowns this year, so... Yeah, because you use membership. Psh. Psh, membership. Yeah, that's okay, I'm gonna have to get one. Ha! <laughs> 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 huh. er, I'm going to ah. revive... <laughs> I'm going to revive health that I did not lose. Exactly. That's how you work. That's how you roll. I'm gonna do 80 damage to a field guardian. Oh, would you look at that? You got shielded, son. If you have a father. Is that the first example we've seen of a spell transmutation? I don't think so, but do you want to just cover that? <laughs> okay, there are these things called um, spell transmutations that um they're very rare to actually get as cards but monsters in this game use them quite frequently and it's basically it takes a spell of one school and it uh, gives it the element of a different school and it might have a slightly different effect but um and so it's like that was the uh, the ice beetle but it was a storm beetle and so it was you know all stormy and zappy and stuff. Now, here's a question. Is the base the ice beetle, or is the base the balance beetle? The scarab. You're right. I actually think that it's possible to get that specific transmutation as a card. Yeah, I and think that, that would be from ice. Because... And I believe it's... I believe it's actually called a storm scarab, so... Oh, yeah, that... I thought it was a storm beetle. I have a pet, and it's a storm beetle. So... Yeah, the pet is the storm beetle. Yeah. We will, um... I will port Research. all of my characters over... Or, my pets over to this character for the housing video, and you'll see just this sea of, like... Piggles and... <laughs> and sea dragons. <laughs> and everything. We'll have a pickle party. A piggle party. <laughs> Ain't no party like a piggle party. Because a <laughs> piggle party... <laughs> yeah. Uh, a piggle party is just a piggle party. I think once both of us turn level 15, we'll start saving up enough to get our first house, or we'll just, like, move a house from a different character or something. Can you move houses? I don't think you can move houses. I don't think you can. I don't think you can move houses. I think that we gotta save up, and then we can buy something. Yes. I'm gonna save. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I said I'm gonna save thirty thousand. I'm gonna get the uh, Marley Bone, um, the large Marley Bone house. Mm -hmm. By far my favorite. Um, I yeah. think I think my favorite house is um, one of the ones in Krakatopia. Not the um, not the not the pyramid one. Oh, the, the one. um, the one with like the. The large one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So back when I used to be like really, really into this game, like I was, you know, playing for 14 hours a day, pretty much, mm -hmm. out uh, without school. Um, I had uh, this friend. I had two friends. One uh, was like Jennifer Rosley for something, who I have kept in contact with, and actually, um, we talk over Skype now. It's kind of fun. It was like after three years. Hey, you still on? What? What? <laughs> it's actually in the middle. It was in the middle of one of my streams too. It was like right before we entered the waterworks. I'm like, wait, is that? Oh, no. that's funny. Right before we entered the waterworks. Right oh, before right. we entered the waterworks, and I was just about to be like, can we? Can we abort? <laughs> I, I want to talk to this person. Um, but her friend, who I became friends with by extension. We're gonna do one of those in-game marriages again. You have that whole experience thing, and, mm. and they used my house along with my collection of action figures, aka the statues that I'm very proud of having. 
I. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I. Mm, Wizard 101 confession number 236. I've actually had one of those hosted in my house, too. <laughs> oh my god. It was great. I just kind of put a stack of jelly beans for her, rece for her reception and it worked <laughs> out beautifully. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I got a whole bunch of the Marlebonian long benches, and nice. I put them inside of the main house area in that Krakatopia house. Yeah. And it looked like a church. Oh yeah, mine was also in that Krakatopian house. The large yeah. one. Huh. Yeah. What a coinky dink. <laughs> it was, a. Uh... It was an adventure. Yeah. And then I moved on to be completely indecisive about what house I wanted, because none of them are, like, THE house for me. They all have, like, one thing about them that... And then, you know how there's that system where you can, like, kick people out of your house? <sighs> but that would have been so useful to know. <laughs> but then, no, it wasn't back in the day. Oh, okay. But it happened right after that got introduced. And so, one of four straw, what about you? Uh, two of four straw. Oh. I got one that time, and I got one the time before. And so right when it first got introduced, there was a glitch that, um, you could, like, if you tried to kick someone out, if they didn't get kicked out th for some reason, the first time you tried to kick them out, you couldn't kick them out. And then you, you could also get kicked out by that person. <laughs> you get kicked out of your own house. Yeah. And so I, I like, kicked everyone out after it was done, because there were, like, 15 people that were just wandering around my house. And it was like, okay, everyone leave. And wow, no they're so big. I had, like, seven people. <laughs> including the... <laughs> including the people who were getting married. <laughs> yeah, and so I kicked them all out, except for, like, two people who I couldn't kick out. And then whenever I went back to my house, they kept kicking me out. <laughs> So I literally, like, couldn't go to my house for, like, five hours while I waited for them to log off. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I need to, like, move a whole bunch of cool stuff over, because I've played, um, Grub Guardian, which I guess, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna end up doing the video on that, just because I'm, I am pro-level. Mm. Swag. No. <laughs> no, no swag. But, <laughs> more seriously, I... Um, I found one level that's so incredibly easy to farm, and you get a nice sizable amount of stuff for it each round, yeah. assuming you do it right. So. Um, did I miss? What did I... <laughs> I can't tell if I, like, hit my spell or not. I don't think so, because the rotting fodder is not... Oh, maybe I just didn't have one. That would make sense. Yeah. Did I just not have a running fodder in my hand? Well, no, not running fodder. A ghoul in my hand. Again with the shovels. There's so many interesting, like... Noises. No, uh... Like, uh, in, on the topic of the transmutation spells. There are so many interesting versions of those. There are. My, one of my favorites, I have to say, is probably either the Life Cyclops or the Death Colossus. Mm. I like oh. the uh, I like the Fire Treant. Oh and yes. Also, the Death Colossus is really awesome. Yeah. The Death Colossus. Is, I mean, the first time I saw it, and I've only seen it once. I've seen it like episode. four times. Uh, who cast it in the lore master? Um, no idea. Also, gosh dang it, Salo. Three or four. Stealing my pips. I, one of four. Still. Welcome to Wizard 101. This is why it's so hard to duo through it, because of collection quests. But we figured out a way, which is just keep doing it until the other person gets it. So, while some people are having fun um, at parties and 
mm-hmm. not in ho- their hometown. We're spending our spring break here, doing yes. this with you, game <laughs> mode. We love you guys. We love you so much. We're willing to sacrifice any hint we even had of a social life. <laughs> hint. <laughs> it's funny because this video probably won't be up- uploaded until. Um, so assuming this is still the first episode of this session, of this like group of recording, whatever. Which it might not be. Yeah, I, I haven't been keeping track. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> um, it's uh, currently probably mid-May. Yeah, some of No, like May, May, my bad. Uh, June. June. So <laughs> we're probably already on summer vacation, and we're still talking <laughs> about spring break. Yeah. I don't know, it, um... Even if we upload, like, if we're, I don't know how many we're uploading a week, but if we get two a week... Yeah, it all depends on, like, nine, the... nine, ten, it'll be yeah, we'll in June. Wait, no, we'll, no, we just do a month. I don't know. Long story short, it isn't spring break anymore. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't think we're in spring break anymore, Toto. Silo. Oh, Kansas references. <laughs> no, not... Yes, I'm referencing all of Kansas. Yes, we're referencing Kansas, guys. <laughs> Trees, that was a Kansas reference. <laughs> Produce, that was also a Kansas reference. Humans. Oh, hold on, hold on. We can't go labeling people in Kansas as humans. They might get the wrong idea. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was also a Kansas reference. <laughs> Alright, well I got them all, so I'll meet you at Blood Raven Eye. Unless you want my help. Yes. Well, no. You just you just go hand in your pretty little quest. I will hand in my pretty little quest. On my prismatic rabbit. Prismatic rabbit. What I don't actually it? think that's what it's called. What is it called? <laughs> hey, that's close. It's called the prismatic, prismatic rabbit. Prismatic hair. Prism- so, the prismatic isn't the wrong part, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hair. The, it wasn't the. Oh my god. Prismatic, Prismatic wasn't the part that was wrong, which is the part I thought was wrong. Yeah. And then the uh, non colored bunny is like half the price of this. I think a bit more. I think this was 2000. I think that the white one was 2500 and this one was 4500. Well, you know, it's uh, it's the price of. The color. price of dyes and different dyes. coloring agents. Hair dye? <laughs> Yeah, hair dye. The price of hair dye in this day and age is ridiculous. <sighs> How Wait a my... second. <laughs> hair can... dye. Oh, look, more mistwood. Oh, maybe I should like go and do start up the crafting. I am nah. disappointed. I am you know, disappointed, Solo. Why are you disappointed? Because hair dye. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Wait, did you do that on accident? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> that took me a little while. <laughs> Some of the best darn jokes that we make are completely on accident. Alright, so the next thing I have to do is pick up sticks. <coughs> so I'll wait for you to do that. Yeah, you wait for me. I'll leave a marker here, and then I can teleport back, and you can teleport to me. Alright. Uh, no, tell me before you teleport, because I have left Blad Raven Eye. I'm gonna go figure out what I need to do for the crafting quest, and then just kind of start with that. Oh god, no! Don't run into the haunted minion. I have a lot of cool stuff that I could bring over for ha- for our houses. Well, for my house. I got a lot of minions. So. Because, uh, I literally... I used to go through these spells where I would just, like, grind up, like, a hundred thousand gold, and I would go through the bazaar in the housing section and just buy everything that looked cool. <laughs> I don't have enough bank space for that. <laughs> um, level ten. Ooh, snap! I get Banshee. <laughs> Ooh. And, yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to go pick that up. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna wait on that one for you. Yeah. I'll just do. We can do pick up sticks and we can get those later, I guess. No, I have not brought you what you asked for because I haven't checked the recipe yet. <laughs> Did I not buy the recipe? All right, what is it? Daggers of Absolution. Oh, um, yeah. of course. Now that, 
now that you're gone, I've gotten like straw every time. <laughs> every battle. So do you have enough? No, not yet. Okay. Also, I've just realized that in very specific spots, the battle sigil in Haunted Cave is completely like way too bright. Yeah, the lighting is interesting. I don't know if it's just been like that all along or I'm just noticing, but now it's like bright colors. <laughs> Large amount of light being inputted into my face holes. All of the colors of the rainbow. <clears throat> I can taste the rainbow. Uh, dagger. Of, right, I need to like, place down my crafting bench. Five more days until Easter. I know, but Easter seemed to have come early with my prismatic hair and its hair dye. <laughs> oh, that joke's- I'm gonna run that joke into the ground. <laughs> yeah. It's not even funny. Oh, I have to wait one minute before I can make my other dagger of absolution. Ha. Huh. You can't put time constraints on creativity. <laughs> Of course, you look at the uh, crafting station, and you'll see this later. But right, what it what it ah, what it has in it is what looks to be either gems or very elaborate D10s. For anyone who doesn't know what a D10 is, it is a die with ten sides, um, an iron, some chemical thing that condensating water. Purifying it, I guess. An anvil. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess the anvil makes sense. And a spool of thread. And I was able to make a dagger. Um, <laughs> I don't um, think I had any metal either. Go back to Blad. Alright, let me create my other one. And now I have both, so I'll be able to turn this in. Yes, I know I made a dagger of absolute fucking Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, calm down. <laughs> you seem tense. Alright, I am at Blad Raven Eye. Okay. Yes, my crafting table has not been kind. <laughs>